So here we have a rate of change question, it appears. You've got a runner sprints in an anti-clockwise direction, running around the circular track of radius 100 meters, center O with a constant speed of five meters per second. The runner's friend is standing at B or over here, a distance of 300 meters away from the center of the track, while his friend A is running around the circle. And B presumably is looking at A. So the runner is starts at S and then moves around the circle at this current point at A. AB is defined to be L, and the distance covered by the on the arc, this arc then is capital L. And you're defining this angle here to be theta. And then we have the questions. On the diagram, the coordinates of A are 100 cos theta, 100 sine theta. That comes from your definition of sine and cosine, or you can just use right angle trigonometry. Either way, that is true and given. Use the distance formula to show L equals 100 square root 10 minus 6 cos theta. That should be quite easy because I've told you how to do it, but we'll quickly do that. And then secondly, at what rate is the distance between the friends changing at the moment when the runner is 250 meters from his friend and getting closer to him? So, With the diagram in mind, they ask you to use the distance formula. Now, L, lowercase l, is the distance AB. Now, A, we know is 100 cosine theta, and B is 100 sine theta, whereas B, where the center of the center, center of the circle is the origin, is therefore going to be 300, 0. So, L squared must equal this um, 300 minus 100 cos theta all squared plus, well, one zero minus 100 sine theta all squared, which is 900 minus, well, 60,000 cos theta plus 10,000 cos squared theta plus 10,000 sine squared theta. But of course, sine squared plus cos squared is one. So that gives you 10,000 minus 600,000 cos theta. Of course, this is not 900, this is 900,000, uh, which then means, of course, that when you add 10,000, it's 100,000, which then makes a bit more sense. You can then take out 100,000, and then that leaves you with a square root of. few arithmetic mistakes here. That should be 60,000. Okay. So basically a few arithmetic mistakes, that should be 90,000, that should be 10,000, so it's 100,000, but this should be 60,000. So we can then take up 10,000, which is 10 minus six cos theta. But that's L squared, of course. So L must be equal to the square root of that, which then be 100, 10 minus 6 cos theta, as required. So just use the distance formula. You've got the coordinates, and that gives you what you need. So the next part then says, at what rate is the distance between the friends changing at the moment the runner is 250 meters from his friend and getting closer to him. So in other words, you're just going to read this question and basically think about what that means. So at what rate is the distance between the friends changing? OK, so they're asking you to find, well, the distance between the friends is L. So they want you to find DL dt. In other words, that's DL dt. At what moment? 
at the moment when the runner is 250 meters from his friend, in other words, L is 250. All of these units are in meters, 100, 300, so L is 250. But also getting closer to him. So that actually means that you've got to be somewhere kind of here, right? They're really talking about this sort of spot because he's running this way, right? So you're, you're basically wanting a situation where this is 250 also. You want that to be 250. You are getting closer to him. Now, it can't be sort of out here because, well, this is 300. So it, it has to be on you know, this side. So we're basically looking for this location. So keep in mind that theta is this angle. Then I guess we're in quadrant four as well. Okay, so we've got a quadrant four theta, and you want to find DL dt when L is 250, and given the relationships. So let's let's do that, right? Find the question basically is find DL dt when L is 250 and theta is quadrant four. And we know L equals 100 times the square root of 10 minus 6 cos theta. OK, so for DL dt, we're going to need to have 100. So we'll write this as 100 10 minus 6 cos theta to the power of a half. So you've got times a half, 10 minus 6 cos theta to the negative a half. And then because you're deriving with respect to t, you'll need to multiply by d theta dt. Uh, you, you have to derive the inside as well. So that's going to be negative 6 times the root of cosine is positive negative sine. And then you need to multiply by d theta dt. All right. In other words, this is this is dl d theta. All right, using the chain rule, this is dl d theta. And we need to find d theta dt. Now we'll need theta when L is 250. So we'll need to kind of solve that geometry question. So essentially, OB is 300, AB is 250 at some point. And we recognize that the radius is 100. And we recognize that theta is this angle. So with that in mind, let's call this angle alpha. And let's solve for that. So we have, it's a, we've got all, it's, we've got a triangle and we've got all three sides. So we can just work out cosine alpha using the cosine rule. So cosine of alpha must equal 100 squared plus 300 squared minus 250 squared all over 2 times 100 times 300. So this is where your calculator will be very helpful. So that's 5 eighths, which means alpha as a um, acute angle is around. is around 0 0.895 radian. But of course, as an, ex you know, as an exact value, um, theta would equal 2 pi minus cos inverse of 5 of 8, because of course it's reflex. 
which is going to be around 5.39 radian. All right, so keeping that in mind, we've now got our theta. Now, we also want to have an idea of what d theta dt is. So we're going to use basically the information in the question. The information in the question tells us that the runner runs at a constant speed of five meters per second. So because the runner runs at five meters per second, that means basically you can think of, think of the sort of, um, so we'll use this diagram. Basically, we know that this rate, we, we'll call this L, so dL dt is 5, right? The, the rate of change of the arc. So d theta dt, uh, I'll, I'll just do it in one go. So if we think of theta as this angle, which is what it's defined to be, and this L, which is what it's defined to be, then we know that the LDT equals positive five meters per second. But there is a direct relationship between L and theta, but L must equal R theta. So that means the LDT equals R times D theta DT. Right, R is a constant because it's a circle. So the LDT is five, r is 100 times d theta dt. This tells us that d theta dt equals one over 20 radian per second. So we know what d theta dt is now, it's one over 20. We also know what we would sub in for theta. So this is one over 20. We also note that cosine theta equals five over eight. And because we're using exact values, let's try and keep it in exact values. So if cosine of theta is five over eight, then that means this is five and this is eight. So you've got 64 minus 25, which is square root of 39. But remember theta is in the fourth quadrant, of course, and I need to work out the sine. The sine will be square root of 39 over eight, negative, of course, because it's in the fourth quadrant. So we can then basically sub those things in. So 100 times a half is 50, all over the square root of 10 minus 6 times 5 eighths times 6 times sine theta, which is negative root 39 over 8 times d theta dt, which is one over 20. Okay, so that is going to be 15 over eight. times negative root 39 and times the square root of 25 over four, which of course means that will be 30 or 15 over four. 15 over 20 times negative root 39, which means it's negative 3 root 39 over 4 meters per second. They didn't say what form they wanted it in, 
so you might find that we will approximate it. So it's going to be negative 3 root 39 over 4, which is negative 4.68 meters per second. Note that it is negative because, well, the distance is getting shorter. So that makes sense. And that's what we're going to get. And that's how you do the questions.